Hi, I'm Joe. I'm a coach for the Leadership Society of Arizona. And the topic I want to talk about today is preparing kids for the future. And this has been a big topic with parents who want to know what they can do to really help them prepare them for what comes next. And so, you know, I wanted to go over the reality of the situation first. As parents, we want to teach our children everything so they're prepared. But there's so much in the world to know. There's so much information, I guess, in our own parent minds that it's impossible to teach your child everything. And the children, they don't really want to listen and they don't really want to learn everything that you know. And so the difficulty in trying to teach them is really hard. As well as parents don't really have the time or the energy to sit down with your child you know, every day and for four hours teach them everything you know. And so this, this is a difficult situation. But I hope you start to realize through this um, presentation what you can do to really help your child get better. And I think one of the problems here is parents' perspective on this situation. And what, I heard this from one of my parents. Um, they said, in the real world, you will have to learn how to do things on your own. And I started to think about this, you know, this quote from the parent. And I started to ask myself, what are we really trying to teach our students? Are we teaching them that they need to learn how to do everything on their own? Are we teaching them that they need to know everything? And as I think about it as a parent, I depend and I look for, to asking for help from people everywhere, from doing taxes, with the car mechanics. There's so many things that I don't know. And so as a child, Think about how stressful it is if we're trying to teach our children they need to know everything and they're going to have to depend on only themselves. It's a really stressful situation. And, you know, what we found is the most important skill to have and to teach children is that it's okay to ask for help. Think about now you take your child, they go into college, and they're around people they don't know and they run into problems. The one thing you don't want them to do is to try and solve it themselves. What we want as parents is we want them to be able to solve their problems on their own, but by asking for help. So wherever they are, if they have this capability to ask for help, they can now go to anyone near them, ask them for their expertise, their help in solving the problem that they have, and eventually they'll probably get it solved. And as parents, we also want our children, if they're out there, if they have this ability to ask for help, that they call back as you know their parents to get advice to get help this can be one of the most beneficial concepts to really help a child to be prepared for the future is learning that they need to ask for help that it's a good thing and so you know as parents we have to realize it takes a village to raise a child so when I was in high school I love to use personal experiences because it helps to connect with the students as well as parents but when I was in high school I needed all my family members I needed my high school counselors. All these people shaped me to be who I was. And it's the same thing with you as parents. We need to learn how to ask for help more because it takes a village to really raise a child. And, you know, the reality of the situation here is from zero to 100% of information, how much do we really have? 100% being you know everything that the effects of everything, a butterfly flapping its wings, you know all the laws of physics, of you know, chemistry, everything. Well, we all know in reality, we know so little. And the amount that we don't know is a lot. So how do we fill that void? And students are really interested now, hey, how do we fill the void of things we don't know? And as parents, we need to help them realize that it's by finding other people, it's by finding technology, things that can help them to know and solve their problems without crumbling and trying to do it all on your own. Because the amount of information we know on our own is so little. And with these people, our life can be less stressful and happier as we ask these people for help. So, you know, I like to give experiences from when I was in high school. And one of them is, you know, with all the things that I struggled with, you know, I was worried about college. I didn't feel like I was really good in my calculus class. I had a weird family. I had problems as well. 
And your children are going to have some of these same problems. They're going to have issues that they deal with when they're in high school. But it's good and useful for them to know that they have so many resources available for them. Family, friends, technology, all these things can be of use to them to help them solve their problems. And if you look at each one of their problems, like I did with mine, there are people there that can give you help to solve those issues. And they're willing to help if you just are willing to ask. So helping students realize it's okay to ask for help is really important for a child to develop. You know, one of the greatest things I like to teach students and the way I like to do it is, you know, if you were making the biggest decision of your life, you have your guardians who have a lot of experience compared to you or your friends who only have like 16 to 18 years of experience. If you're making the biggest decision of your life, which one are you going to ask? Well, it's the guardians, it's the parents, because they know more. They would give you better advice. So helping your students realize that there's wisdom in asking others for help that know more than you. And now, as even in when they grow up, right, you have all these things, finances, marriage, college, future, kids, all these things that come along. Helping them realize that there will be people there that they can ask for help and things they can do so that they can solve those problems as well. So, in conclusion, hopefully you realize that teaching your children how to ask for help is a critical concept for them to really prepare for the future. Whatever situation they're in, if they have that ability, they can have the tools to solve any problem. And as parents, we should try and encourage our students to ask for help. We shouldn't discourage them, tell them, oh no, you gotta do it on your own. We should let them ask for help, try and find people that can help them. And you know, as parents, when trying to help teach co this concept to our children, if we learn how to use our own personal experiences and show them by example how much we ask for help, it will help children to really understand this concept and use it in their own life. So I'm, thanks so much for joining us and I hope you join us for another session and I hope you learned something. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel for more content. We'll see you next time.